I think there is the diversity of religion and culture, and it's always been respected in our area of life, especially Ghana or in Africa. Mm. Um, but what's happening now is I think, again, social media is, is giving people the edge to do whatever they feel like doing and just upload it on social media and it trends overnight. Many years ago, when those facilities were not available, we hardly heard all these things. So I think the years and the eras comes with different challenges that we just got to grow to embrace it mm. and understand the dynamics of life. However, my little sense I added to that was let mercy temper with judgment and let's not blow it out. I'm more concerned about preserving the integrity of Ghana. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm a proud Ghanaian and I want the world to hear about Ghana in such a positive way and not the everyday people wake up, insults, disrespect. It's like from January to December, setting half of setting Ghanaians will always be in a fight. This one fighting each other, this one disrespecting this, this, this person and that person, which is understandable. Somebody like Bishop Ajina Sari, he's done so much for Ghana, represented Ghana. I mean, I've had the privilege to do a few conferences with him in Nigeria. They fly in private jets to go to Nigeria to be a blessing. Um, Bishop Ajina Sari is married to an Ewa lady, and he goes to the Volta region to do whatever his crusade is. So what I was saying to the elders was, please, Let's not blow this out. This man is no stranger to the land. Whatever he expressed himself to do, he came onto his congregation and said X, Y, and Z, and actually explained that I love Volta region. So let's just let it low. And we, everybody has heard the expression, and I don't think Bishop would make that statement ever again, but I think it was being drugged so far. We're giving you this ever day to show up and... Well, it's died out now, so I just pray and still plead that let's project Ghana in a, in a so positive way that what Nigerians are doing, taking over crusades, concerts, gospel music, secular preaching, we should also do it as Guineans. I don't live in Ghana, but my, what I can do from the side of the world representing Ghana, I'm trying to do that.